In this video, I'll show you what to do if you're receiving streaky prints on your document or image that you're trying to print with your HP SmartTank 580. Now, this may also come with an error code on your LCD screen that's displaying E3. Uh, if that's the case, then this is probably uh, what it's trying to let you know, is that the printer has recognized that it's giving you an, a streaky lines through your image or document. So what you're going to need to do, first of all, make sure that your printer is still powered on and that you have a consistent power light. So this light here, uh, make sure it's not flashing or anything before you proceed. Uh, if it is flashing, it may be trying to process something. So just make sure that that's consistent before moving on. You also wanna make sure that you have your device that you're trying to print from connected. So I'm using iPhone in this uh, example, but you can also do the same process for Mac, Windows, or Android, as it's the same app that you'll be using. So you need to make sure you have the HP Smart app downloaded. If you're not sure which one to download, or how to set it up, feel free to check out my other video where I take you through a step-by-step -step on how to do that. But at this point, we'll assume that you've done that because you're trying to print already. So uh, if you are receiving these issues, then you'll need to go onto the print app and do either a realignment or a print head cleaning. So we're gonna show you how to do both of those in this video. So first of all, go onto the Smart HP Spot app. And if you've logged in already and you're connected, you should come up here with your printer if you're receiving this uh, symbol instead, the setup of ad printer, you'll just need to go through those steps and connect it. So check out that other video on how to do that. But once you've done it, it will come up like this. You'll get a little uh, supply level check on the ink cartridge. And you'll also have a few more options down here on how to print, uh, scan, or do a copy. So those are quite useful. Have a little breeze through there and have a look at the options that you can use for this printer. Now, what we're gonna be focusing on is the settings. So we're gonna click on HP Smart Tank there. And you're gonna go down to the tools section and we're gonna focus on the alignment and maintenance category for today. Now, once this loads up, you'll be given a few different options of what you can do. So you can do a print quality report. This is quite a useful tool. Uh, this tells you if there is an issue with the print heads, then it will sort of give you an indication of where that problem's coming from. But we're gonna be focusing on the print head cleaning and the alignment. So we're going to start with the alignment and then we'll do a clean print head cleaning. For the cleaning, there are three stages. We'll just do the first stage for today, but if uh, the first stage doesn't work for you, then it will give you an option as well to do a second and third. So let's start with the alignment. Now this does just take a moment, so feel free to just uh, allow it to do its thing. Uh, you'll see that the print head receives, the printer receives a message to start working and it will uh, begin the alignment for you now and just make sure that your phone stays on. Uh, you don't want it to turn off because then it may interrupt the app and then you won't be able to access this page. So just give it a minute and once that's done, we'll have another look. And now once that's done, you will receive this document and this is what we'll need to do, just a second scan. Uh, so if you come back onto the app, it will give you this message. Feel free to just have a read through that and it is instructing you to put the document into the scanner. So just open this up like so and make sure there's nothing in the way, nothing that's gonna interrupt this process, and then take your document and put it face down onto the scanner and tuck it into the top left corner. I do have another video explaining how you can uh, ensure that the scanning is done properly, so check that out as well if this is your first time doing a scan, and that should explain a little bit about what to do, but also just make sure that it's lined up with the A4 line there and the A4 line in the corner, and that will just ensure that the scan is done effectively. You can go ahead and close this and refer back to the app and press OK to let the printer know that you've done what it's asking you. And then this will just take another minute to do another scan of the document it printed off to make sure that the line, the printed print head is aligned correctly. And now after around 30 seconds to a minute, that should have completed the alignment of the print heads and you'll just get a message here uh, this will say that the alignment has been successful and you can now discard of, discard of the alignment page. Uh, if it hasn't been correct, then the app will notify you that so, and you can proceed with the further steps that it will instruct you on there. But this is quite an effective uh, alignment, so it should work every time. So you can go ahead and press OK, and then of course you can discard of the piece of paper in your scanner. Uh, feel free to recycle, or you can even reuse the back if you need to print a document onto something for personal use, uh, you can basically do what you want with this now. So I'll just keep that on the side for now. And then we're gonna go back into the app and do a quick 
cleaning of the print head. So we're going to press clean. Now, as with before, this does take just a minute. Uh, as there are three stages, the first stage is kind of the more uh, simpler cleaning. And then level two takes a bit longer and the level three is the longest, but it's also the most in-depth. So I'd recommend to do all three if you are looking to really do a deep cleaning of your print heads. But for now, we'll just do the level one and then you'll see how you can do the level uh, two and three after that. So once that has completely level one cleaning, you'll notice that it will print off for you a document you can have a look at, which will explain the different tests it's done. Uh, you can just have a look through these and have a read of what it's done and how to look up for if there's still an issue. Once you've had a look at that, you can go over to the app and have a read through this again. again. Now, if uh, you're not satisfied with the result, go ahead and press the level two cleaning and this will do a secondary cleaning and then print off another uh, quality diagnostics page which uh, hopefully would have solved the issue. And if it hasn't, of course, you can go ahead and do the level three and that'll print off another one. And you can even compare this document to the next one after the level two and see if it has made a difference and if, it, if the difference uh, is uh, beneficial for you. So this is quite a good test you can do. Of course, you can do it as many times as you want. Just be aware that it does use ink, of course, to do this. So the more you do it, the more ink it's gonna contain. Now, if you're satisfied with the result, you can go and press done, and that will have concluded the uh, printhead cleaning. Now, I hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Do leave us any comments down below if you think you want to add anything, or let us know what you want to see in the next videos. My name is Pat, and this is Printers with Pat. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.